What has happened to BC Spirit? Spirit Day number 34 of all things. Um, today's a special, oh, I always say it's a special one. I gotta stop saying it's a special one because every day is a special one because every day is something brand spanking new that I may not have tasted or something that I have tasted and is revisiting. Um, gotta get a bit of vernacular, I suppose. Um, today's a good one though. Um, from my research, it's the only whiskey of its kind in BC. Um, it's a very odd little number. It's the uh, Wyatt 2.0 from Legend Distilling. Um, I believe this is the only one, and I'll tell you why. Um, it's 90% uh, wheat, so it's a wheat whiskey, 90% wheat whiskey, 10% rye, no barley whatsoever, so it's very, very different. Um, I don't think anyone's lent into doing like a heavy, heavy wheat whiskey like this. Then, it's just under four years old, by about two months, I think. Then... It's aged in uh, three different styles, well, three barrels, two different styles, um, Cab Franc barrel and a Cherry Port barrel um, for the four years. So it doesn't see like New American Oak or One Shoes Bourbon barrels. Like it's a, it's an unusual beast unto itself. And I don't think there's any other whiskeys from, any, and I've tasted a lot of the stuff that's available here in BC. I don't think there's anyone else that's doing a 90% wheat whiskey. Um, this is very, um, oh, what's it called? Bernheimer. Is it Bernheimer out of the US? They do it. They do a heavy, um, heavy wheat whiskey. 90% wheat, 10% uh, rye. Um, very, very different. If you're, if you're looking for your, um, your single malt sort of flavor profiles, it's probably not going to be long for you. I've never tasted a ton of wheat whiskeys, like heavy, heavy wheat whiskeys. So getting that flavor profile in your head, like see it into your brain is not the easiest thing in the world to do when you haven't experienced enough. It's uh, very similar when I talk to people about vermouths and uh, drinking vermouths and different, um, very regional specific uh, flavor profiles because a lot of people go, well, I don't like it because I like only Shinzano Rosso or Martini Bianco or whatever. And I'm like, well, you haven't tasted that random little village in Spain's vermouth or that random little place in the deep south of the US that does a weeded whiskey like this. The wheat is so heavy. Like, for some reason I would assume that wheat's gonna be a lot, a lot lighter on the flavor profile. You gain all that wine. The wine finish is really, the wine aging is really, really good for this. But the whiskey is like strong enough and boisterous enough that it can hold up to um, the wine whiskey. My mouth is like watering right now. It can hold up to the wine aging because wine can either take over or be very complimentary. Um, the, the rye is very subtle on this, but it's the, the wheat, I for some reason I always assume wheat would be very one dimensional flavor because we don't see too much of it because why is there a reason we don't see a lot of wheat? Um, but wow. This, it just stands up on its own. Fantastic flavor profile. The wine is great. Forty-five percent. Second release from the guys at Legends. Absolutely great job. Wyatt, this 2.0, second release. 90% wheat, 10% rye, aged in wine barrels. It just... Mind-blowing creativity and innovation that we see it here in uh, in BC, and I fucking love it. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.